Hey guys, Dragon here from Museshop.net and today we are talking about the 3D parallax image hover effects. Possibly the coolest hover effect you've seen in Muse. Let me just drag the widget over here. And let's take a look at the settings. First you have the option to select the image. If you want to use this image the same as we did, you should go to file and add files for upload and upload our temporary image that you received with your widget. And although the widget is responsive, that widget is a good guide for the size of the image you should use with the widget. This means you can use other sizes but this one will work the best. Then we have the heading text, that's this one over here. I can type in whatever I want. And you have the description text, that's the second line of the text over here. And as it says, type in one short sentence, because longer ones might not look that good. So let's type in something. And you have the alt text, and this is for SEO. It will not show up on your live site, but it helps search engines recognize what's on this picture. So let me just fill that in as well. When you set up the image and text, next we have the link settings. And this is uh, whether you want to link uh, to another page inside your Muse website or whether you want to link to a URL outside of your site. By default, this is linked to your home page. As it says over here, Muse page or URL. And if you're not sure how to fill this up, you can open the instructions where it says how to link the pages. So you basically need to type in the file name of your Muse page and add .html if you want to link to a Muse page and simply copy the URL of any outside page if you want to link to an outside page. So let's create another page over here and I'll give it a different name. So if I click on the page properties and click on options, you can see the file name over here. So if I call my page like this, with a space, you can see this stays the same because file names don't have spaces and other special characters. And let's click OK. We'll just edit this page quickly. And then we go back over here and enter page 2 over here, like this. And you also have the option to open the image link in the same tab or in a new tab. So let's say, let's try the new tab. And since we have another page, I will need to export both of these pages. So I'll just preview site in browser. Now let me introduce you to a 3D parallax hover effect. It literally follows your mouse around. And in my own opinion, this is one of the coolest effects you can have on your website. Now, as I said, the widget is completely responsive, so feel free to play around with it. But my advice would be to use uh, this widget for something that you really want to emphasize on your site. I wouldn't throw in a hundred of these over my page. I would just put one or two or maybe three. And let's test the link. So if I click, it opens in a new page and we arrive at page two. Cool, right? And aside from the basic settings, you have some advanced ones as well. So first you can adjust the 3D effect sensitivity and you can play around with that. Let's put more sensitivity over here. The smaller number means uh, it's higher sensitive. Now remember this border effect over here. We can also control the thickness of it and we can also control the hover tint effect. As you can see, it's tinted with black color right now. And I hope you notice a white glowing effect over here. We also control whether we want it or not and how intense it is. So let's go back and change those advanced options. We already increased the sensitivity. Now let's say we need a red border and we want it to be like two pixels. Our hover tint will be yellow and let's make it more transparent. And let's keep the glowing effect as it is. But you should mainly use dark colors for the tint over here. So let's see what we've got now. And here it is. I'm still amazed with this effect. And that's it.